Melanie, we were talking about social media earlier, and I love the work that you're doing. So you will be giving talks, whether with a Vistage group, you were in a room full of CEOs and you take a selfie and they get lots of engagement. People love it. What would be your advice? I see you on LinkedIn. I see you posting everything from reflections to family life, to your work. Tell me what's working and tell me what advice you would have for other coaches and consultants. Don't overthink it too much when you get started. I overthought it way too much and procrastinated. I could have really been benefiting and learning from it. I let the fear of judgment Mm. hold me back. So step back and journal about what you're passionate about. When you think about as a consultant, maybe you're starting consulting, but I assume you're doing it because you solved problems in businesses before you started this. So I would start by number one, writing down what problems did you solve for clients that led you to where you are today, like taking this leap. When you think about the leap you took, what's been hard so Mm. far, right? Write those things down. What is going on in your personal life that you can use as a metaphor around what is challenging you in building your consulting practice? Or maybe it parallels with what you solved for companies. I did one recently that got like 7,000 impressions and I was shocked. Like I was in the beauty salon and my hair was taking forever. I got really impatient. And the woman at the salon that does my hair said, listen, Melanie, I can tell you are ready to leave, but everything we're doing here builds on each other and I can't shortcut it or you won't be happy with the result. And it hit me. Like I'm always listening for things and connecting it to what leaders are struggling with. And it hit me, oh my gosh, I work with all these mid-market leaders that want to shortcut everything. They want to get an easy button on everything that we do with them. And what a great example of this visual hair. I could never do this myself, but I only got this result because I was willing Mm. to slow down and let the quality happen. And so I wrote something when I found a quote that tied it all together, but it's things like that, that people actually can identify with. It's being real and connecting what you're talking about, not to what you sell, but what about who you are would be interesting that someone else could relate mm. to. So what's in it for them? Oh, well, my God, I can relate to it sitting in a salon and being really annoyed. Or having to go get gas and be really annoyed to wait for the tank to fill up, right? Why can't that happen in two seconds? Everybody can relate to these day-to-day things. Very good at that too, Ted. You bring in a lot of things around your kids. They cross over into perseverance and dedication. And it's not easy. I mean, this is not easy. And people need to understand mm. that. Yeah, I really love that. When I'm teaching coaches and consultants social media, you hit on huge pillars. Like talk about the problem solved. Relate it back to your personal life. Use it like a metaphor. Share what you're already doing. 